Uh, the way I teach is controversial, and I thought the man who taught it to me was nuts. He said that uh, the biggest problem in golf is that people try to use the big muscles of their thighs and their legs, uh, the core, and uh, that's just a whole lot of effort with little results. And then he said another problem is it's often taught that way. Up to the end of your backs when you're supposed to move those hips first or legs or lead with the lower body and leave the arms and club behind. And then of course uh, they'll come in on their own and respond to those big leg and strong muscles. He said that's all backwards. The real force in golf comes from straightening your right arm from a bent condition, that's one. Then uncocking the wrist, that's two. And then uh, the rotation of your right arm after it straightens out, that's three, and it's all simultaneous, just a one, two, three. And of course, it's ball target oriented. One is the elbow, two are the wrist, three is the rotation of the right arm. And so you give it a nice little one, two, three through the ball. And you want to eliminate any unnecessary lag and chest and hip and big muscle movement. In fact, uh, if you can get one, two, and three loaded away from the ball, as you unload one, two, and three right away, your sternum should be quiet. The legs and sternum moving around and wrestling alligators is number four. Keep four very quiet and load up one, two, and three and then get rid of one, two, and three at the speed you load them. Uh, now, one, the right elbow, equals the left knee in your brain. So as you bend it, the left knee should flex. As you straighten one, the left knee should straighten out simultaneously. The wrist, especially the right wrist, is the left ankle. As you flex it, left ankle flexes. As you straighten the right wrist, the left ankle straightens. And there you have it. The lower one, two, three will do what the upper one, two, three does.